Traveling during the pandemic can be very tricky given the ever-changing restrictions that exist nowadays. So, how can you make your re-entry to Japan smooth? In this video, I will cover all the important documents and information you need to re-enter Japan from overseas. Let's get started. These days, travel has become even more complicated. It requires more than just a passport or an airline ticket, more screening, more documents, wherever you go. And Japan is no exception. As I mentioned before, here I will give you a travel checklist you need to re-enter Japan from wherever you're coming from. Keep watching. To enter Japan, you require a negative PCR test. This should be taken 72 hours prior to departure to Japan and as you can tell it's time sensitive so you should take this test when you are confident which day you are living and when you will land in Japan. Be sure to get your PCR certificate in this format. This format is provided by the Ministry of Health. This PCR is just a mere formality because upon arrival you will be tested again. So keep that in mind. Coming back to Japan, you need to sign a pledge. This is a simple promise that you will not use public transport. You will self-isolate for 10 days and you will give your information, your health condition upon request by the city officials. It's important to honor this pledge because there are some people who have taken this pledge for granted and of course they faced the consequences that came along with that. So people, be careful. Now that you have promised to honor the pledge, you might be wondering, how do these people monitor you? How do they keep track whether I'm out or I'm at home? This is where the app comes in. Upon your arrival, you are required to download an app that monitors your location, your health condition, and you have to give updates on a regular basis to the responsible authorities. For those of you who do not have smartphones, don't worry. Upon arrival, you'll be given a chance to rent one and the quarantine staff at the airport will help you throughout the process. You're downloading the app. Another thing just to remember, please respond to all notifications you receive. If not, I have no idea what will happen to you. Prior to your arrival to Japan, you're also required to complete an online health questionnaire, which will then give you a QR code, which you will use for immigration. I advise you to do this prior coming to Japan, because when you do that, it will speed up your immigration processing. Now let's address the elephant in the room. How many days are required for quarantine? There is no one fit all answer for this. It really depends where you're coming from. Some are required to quarantine for 10 days, six days, or three days. And in most cases, the first days you are quarantined in a government designated facility, which is then followed by quarantine at your home. But if you want to find out the specific time, please check out the Ministry of Health. Please check the link in the description. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching the channel. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well. So we'll continue to give you more information as we receive it. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.